Hi folks and welcome back to We Are All Cavemen. We are living in the Rocky Mountains in western Wyoming and it has been blizzarding most of the night and our solar panels are completely covered in snow and I haven't gone out to shovel them. So what this video is going to be about is if you're living in a situation like we are, there's a certain type of solar panel that is actually going to do you a huge favor. So we made a really good choice on our solar panels, and I'm going to explain why in just a minute. So when I go to my Victron app right now, with it snowing all night and the panels completely covered, I'm still getting a little over 300 watts of solar, even though there's no sun hitting the fronts of the solar panels. So I'm going to go show you and and explain why my batteries are getting charged even though they're covered in snow okay so what you can see here is our solar panels are completely covered we have 24 panels and around 12,000 watts of solar and the panels are around um, 400 watts with six panels in each section and there's four section of panels now I said we're getting around 300 watts of solar so how does this happen so if we go around to the back side of this what we see is these are what you call bifacial panels and so these panels are 400 watts on the front side that the sun hits, and then they're around 100 watts on the back side. So in wintertime, with not a lot of sunlight, all of these panels combined are producing about 3 to 350 watts on one of the most you know miserable days, overcast, snowing, um, thick clouds and so you notice you don't have to shovel off this side it may not be a lot of power but it's enough to keep the batteries alive and if you're not using a lot of power in your house 300 watts is enough to keep your refrigerator going it's enough to keep um, you know a couple lights on if you need them and then what I'm going to show you now is even on the worst day possible, and it's not a full blizzard out here, it could be a lot worse, but I mean, it's, it's a good snowy day. I'm gonna show you how many watts this 12,000 watt array actually produces on a miserable day. So right now we're in that 300 watt range and I'm gonna shovel these off and then we're gonna check and see you know, how much does it produce? And it may only produce that amount of power for an hour before the snow fills back up on these. But then again, that bifacial side of these solar panels will keep producing power all day long, even if I'm not here, if I have to go on a trip or if I'm at work all day. And this is how we do ours. We basically have a push broom and this handle is a collapsing handle and this is actually from a painting stick so you can you can collapse it and make it the right length for what you want
Okay, so let's check and see. How much that one section of six panels changed all right so we're up to 788 watts from this one section of six panels and let's do the next one to 1245 watts Sixteen forty nine. Twenty two hundred. Now, the great thing is having this done. If the sun peaked out for even an hour, we'd probably get seven or eight thousand watts in that one hour. And it only takes about thirteen thousand to run our house for 24 hours, our little tiny house. All right, guys. So that's why you buy bifacial panels and you mount them above the ground and not on your roof so you can actually get power out of them even when the snow is covering them. All right, guys, have a great day. Visit us again. Follow our journey living off-grid and surviving in the mountains, and we'll see you later.